until WrestleMania officially begins. Just like with Cody Rhodes winning the Royal Rumble, the bloodline is the, is the pissitating. Sami Zayn turned on the bloodline. So the road is pretty clear. Because I think they have the Elimination Chamber is at. They always do that, right? I don't know. I don't know that whole deal there, but yeah. But basically, yeah, the road the road starts here. The road starts here, indeed. I've already been thinking about the big picture. I mean, that's what when it comes to wrestling, everything in general, that's what I do. But, yeah. I mean, come on, I'm going I'm to... But I was just going to come on here and, yeah, just like... Straight up, just come on here. <laughs> of course, like after the show, after the Royal Rumble, after everything was over, you know, I would, <laughs> I was going to different channels, of course, because I wanted to get everybody's reaction. And you know, I was, as I was watching everybody else's opinions, you know, reaction, what they thought. Yeah, like, <sighs> I don't think in as much as. I said not to exclude them or not because, you know, I mean, we know, we could tell, you know, AEW cuckolds and, oh, sorry about that. We could tell, you know, regardless, but still, regardless if you have bias or not, whether you hate, whether you still hate Roman Reigns and you didn't care for the whole, somehow didn't care for the whole bloodline story or not, we all agree. The whole wrestling community agrees. There cannot be a single one. I mean, everybody has disagreements, but the whole wrestling community knows whether you have a whether you have a disdain, whether you do not like Roman Reigns or not. We all know that Roman Reigns, just like this Bloodline story, it's been carrying WWE. He's been carrying WWE for the last two years. His official last run. WWE is without Roman Reigns. And. <laughs> well. I wish I could say. Kind of say. But we have to see. But. Yeah. WWE has been on. Roman Reigns' back. For. You know. <laughs> a matter of time now. And this. This bloodline story. With Sami Zayn. You know. Recent chapter. Sami Zayn and Bloodline. It's been the best thing in wrestling right now. Disagree or not disagree. Everybody knows. So. Like I said. Getting, after that last night. After the show. And then. Pretty clear what everybody wants. Especially going into the next pay per view. Going into the road. It's pretty clear, and I'm pretty, like, it's pretty damn sure that nobody gives a damn about Cody Rhodes. Sorry to say, like, I'm pretty sure he has his his community that likes him, I'm pretty sure, like, I've already pretty said what I said, like, <laughs> that I don't care for uh, Cody Rhodes, but, yeah, I'm <laughs> pretty sure that, like, they, they really set that man up for failure, again. Nobody cares. You cannot tell me that nobody cares. Obviously, nobody cares about about Cody Rhodes going to the main event of WrestleMania right now. They're all, you already know what everybody's talking right now. Still tonight, still after last night, they're talking about Sami Zayn in the bloodline. That's what they're talking about. Sami Zayn. No one cares about Cody Rhodes. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. People, I said I, I wouldn't mind either, even though I, t to some degree, I think he's past. No, yeah, like yeah, fuck that. I think he's paced past being a mid Carter. Like yeah, so Sami Zayn has really grown. To say that also because I want to really make this a separate thing, but I don't want to go too much into it. You know, Sami Zayn has that credibility now. People are really like, if you saw heard the pops, if you heard, you heard the boos, you heard the disdain that the crowd had for Roman Reigns, 
after what he did to Sammy, it's true. Sami Zayn is the babyface right now that everybody is under right now. Everybody's liking him. Everybody is behind him right now. So I said they really, they really screwed over Cody Rhodes once again. <laughs> and pretty much like I was about to say, just as you, it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty reminiscent in the title. Like after the after Roman Reigns, which I'm sure everybody knows too. After Roman Reigns is the bloodline. What's next? How are they going? How are they, how are they going to have relevant TV to the point of where they're going to just keep pulling in those millions? I'm sure, that, of course, they still have their top stars, but like, as you know, of course, like, because you know, Randy is out right now. Um, I know they cut like I said, they still have their top stars, but it's like, besides the bloodline, it stands clear. Besides the bloodline right now. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else grabs anybody else's attention. There's not, there's nothing good right now going on. We know that in AEW, and we know that to be like everything else outside of the bloodline, there's nothing else that nobody else cares about. I said, yeah, I said that, that I, even more so that, to the point where I just, uh, but I know I have to, I know, cause of course I need to come to y'all and we, we, you know, we discuss whatever we talk about. Of course this, you know, what I, what I talk about is based around wrestling. So obviously I'm still going to be, of course here, but as far as like personally and really being engaged with the current state of today's generation of wrestling, I, I've, I've said this the time that to the ones that that's already been here and to the ones that you know you're hearing right now you're coming in yeah I don't <laughs> I haven't been care I haven't been caring at uh, I haven't been caring at all I don't care about what's what outside of else of what's going on because it's it's all trash nothing else pulls nothing else pulls my attention there's nothing right now that's that's as gripping and as beautiful as the bloodline story that's going that just happened that just cultivated at Royal Rumble. There's nothing else. Nobody else cares what's going on right now. And you can lot, of course you're gonna have the ones that like to lie to themselves and say that Triple H is doing good, but of course you know that already. We all know that already. But it's all it's the red you know, the red line is pierced and clear. You know, there besides the bloodline, there's nothing else that they have that pulls anybody else's attention. After this, they have no nothing else. It's back to square one. I'm very curious. I'm very very curious what else that they have. You know, after the bloodline fully dis uh, you know dissipates, and you know rope because we know that also back in like Roman after this. And we know what's going to happen too. Going into WrestleMania, you know it's all over. You know Roman. Uh, I feel like it's kind of not, but we all pretty much know the story. You know Roman has both titles. Cody Rhodes just won the Royal Rumble. It's not like, <laughs> you know, it's not like he can go after the other title, uh, or unless they're probably going <laughs> to, I don't know, but somehow make that happen. But yeah, like he has both titles. Cody Rhodes just won the Royal Rumble. So you know what's going to go down. Whether or whether or not, yeah, like, Roman Reigns, this, like I said, like, just like we've already known the story there, like, after this, after the bloodline, and after this, like, the still this, the current run of Roman Reigns that's going on, it's it. Like, this is over for Roman Reigns. So it's like, yeah, like, <laughs> It's like it's back to it's back to being straight up dog shit. WWE is back. <laughs> WWE is back to scraping the bare bones. It's back to not caring. It's back to being 
in the cure, you know, in the sheer gutter. You know, it's back to whatever the fuck. It's what it's back to whatever the fuck they got going on in NXT. It's back to whatever. <laughs> it's back to the garbage that is the main roster. Whatever you want to believe, the tag team. <laughs> if there is a tag team, pretty much, I've been paying attention to that. No tag team division. You know, the women's division is irrehensibly, you know, an embarrassment. So it's like I said, there's nothing else that's going on. <laughs> That there's nothing else. Nobody cares about anything else. Like I said, after tonight, it's pretty clear what everybody's talking about right now. Of course, that's as it should be, but there's nothing else to be, else to be talked about. And I said, of course, because I'm, of course, I'm always gonna be here, of course, because I said I like talking about wrestling, and I do have, you know, I do have a realm, you know, I do have this. You know this particular this particular channel that's based that's based around wrestling. So of course I'm still going to be here, but it's like as far as that, they have nothing else for me. So yeah, that's pretty that's <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah, nothing else. Is gonna be gripping anybody? Like I said, it's, it's back. Yeah, it's back. To, it's back to being. It's back to WWE <laughs> sucking the bare bottom. I see. Of course, whether you disagree, to so agree to disagree. Of course, I miss. <laughs> I said it, it. Like of course, we like we have people have agreements and they have disagreements. It's gonna be how it's gonna be. Well, like I said, like if you actually have like logic, reasoning, uh, you know, a brain, you know that yeah. Besides the blood right now, besides the blood run right now, there's nothing else that there's nothing else in the WWE right now that's as entertaining, that's as engaging, that that pulls you aside and say, oh, I gotta catch this, I can't miss this. There's nothing else besides the bloodline. Nothing else. But that's just, just, I wanted to come to y'all before Monday night, you know, Monday, and yeah, Lord Cosmo out. I'll see y'all later.